You may notice some beautiful new blooms in your yard, but be careful. They could be deadly for you and your pets. We're talking about poison hemlock plants. Some of you may be finding them in your yard after recent rains. Hemlock, as legend has it, killed Socrates. Back here in Oklahoma, News 4's Lauren Daniels has more details on what they are and what you can do about them. Behind these blooming beauties, a bit of danger looms. There are toxic properties in, inside them that can kill uh, both animals and people if consumed, um, in, consumed in the, in the right quantities. So definitely be careful with this. Josh Campbell with the OSU Oklahoma County Extension Office says poison hemlock is common across the U.S. and especially in Oklahoma right now after recent rains. May, June, early summer is when it's blooming out and maturing and really noticeable. The plants, often confused with Queen Anne's lace or wild carrots, are distinguished by their size, which can be up to nine feet, as well as their coloring. And they're going to have a purple or kind of red modeling, uh, kind of almost like polka dot pattern on the stems. While they're mostly found in pastures or unmanaged areas, some residents in the Edmond area have reported finding them in their backyards. And this plant is a pest. Poison hemlock can cause skin irritation, and if consumed, it can be lethal, making it especially dangerous for livestock. But animals are smarter than we give them credit, and for the most part, they're, it's not very palatable to them, so they're only going to eat it if they really don't have a lot of other options. Campbell says the best option is to physically remove the plant and dispose of it if possible. You're not worried about it coming back from, from seed or from um, from the, the, the plant, crown of the plant. So physical removal is great, but you need to glove up. Lauren Daniels, Oklahoma's News 4. Thank you, Lauren. Always wear long pants and sleeves when handling poison hemlock. When dealing with larger, more mature plants or a larger quantity, you may need to hack them down or use an herbicide. You can always call your county extension office for advice on that.